When I first started the food bank and people were coming to volunteer, I was very meticulous in telling people, come with a heart ready to serve. You're spreading love, and that's exactly what this is about, and we need to start taking care of one another. Hi, my name is Gwena Hunter. We are here at Hope on Union, also part-time Vegans of LA Food Bank, and this location used to be a butcher shop. Every third Thursday, we serve approximately uh, 300 people, and of those 300 people, the average amount of people in their family is between 4.5 and 5 people. So I felt it was important to have a physical uh, vegan food bank here in Los Angeles so that people had a place that they can go to, that they can rely on, a place that they know at this time, on this date, I can have my food needs met from this vegan food bank. I can empathize with the people that we serve um, because at one point I was one of them and I understand what it feels like to struggle and wonder how you're going to feed yourself, let alone feed your family. So when I first landed in Los Angeles about eight and a half years ago, um, made a couple of wrong turns, a few odd decisions, and I found myself living in poverty um, for a period of time. I remember one week having five dollars to eat with, and that was one of the scariest feelings I've ever had. So we do this based on first respect and also love and compassion. We give them the choice of what it is that they want and how much that they want. Some food outreach programs or food banks just give people, everyone has to take whatever is there, but we let people have their dignity and make the choice. There's so much love and gratitude. I mean, if you go down the line, all you hear is buenos dias, good morning, thank you, God bless you. And so it's just a whole frequency of love just being created for the two hours that we're here. The Mercy for Animals People's Fund really helped because there were expenses that I had no idea that I would have, such as logistics, um, paying people to go pick up pallets. We were outgrowing the items that we had here, so I had to purchase additional freezers just to hold a lot of the vegan products that were being donated to us. So it really, really helped, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do that. The impact that I hope that the food bank has in the community is that people are influenced to eat more plant-based, so that people will experiment with the different uh, food options that we give them, the vegan shrimp, the vegan meats, um, and create some delicious meals and decrease their intake of animals, if not eliminate. I've had people uh, come up to me and tell me they've never had this many vegetables before, reporting that they're cooking healthier. People are seeing a different way to eat. So what does the future hold for the Vegans of LA Food Bank? The ultimate goal is that I no longer have a food bank that needs to exist. I would love to be proud of business because everyone is being taken care of and everyone has healthy access to food.